Talk about sticking around and putting in extra time. That's what Rich Robinson is all about. So we're here at the uh, shooting zone in Hohokus. What is your official role here? So I'm the director of sports performance here for the lacrosse, uh, lax and lift in Hohokus. So after your name, I put lax and lift. You're on Instagram if people want information. But you are the only center like this in the country? Pretty much. We basically focus on just lacrosse players. You have other sports performance centers that have got multiple sports. But here at Lacrosse and Lift, uh, we've uh, created a culture. My friend Joe Padone built a place where it's just primarily for lacrosse players. That's well, if, let's. what is Daniel working on right now then? Dan is one of the best lacrosse players in the country. He's uh, going to Johns Hopkins University uh, next year. He's a 23. He's working on an RDL with, a, with balance in, integrated into the exercise. So it kind of replicates the form of shooting, but it's also showing me his balance and it's working on muscles and his core development. So if you kind of master this, you can really uh, expect during the year to uh, your performance on the field to be much uh, greater increased. Beyond the obvious athletic benefit to that drill, what do these kids get by being around other kids that don't go to the same school, maybe not in the same town and from a different area. John, that's probably the best point. So, you know, you take a young man like uh, Dan Shepard, he's been working with me, and then during his high school career, I'd have college guys around him. So you, when you're exposed yeah. to these great athletes, you see, number one, the dedication that they have, um, the attitudes, the personalities and character traits that these boys have. And truly, that's why they're, um, they're achieving great things in the sports and obviously academically too. Uh, Dan's one of the best students, um, you know, I've ever run into as well. This is kind of cruel. We've been making him do this for like two minutes. Daniel, can I ask you a real quick question? Sure. First off, congratulations on John's. You're going to be a doctor, right? Yeah, that's the plan. How has this facility helped you beyond your performance in the sport? Um, overall, the, my athletic ability has definitely increased here. All of the other facilities are like football based, just weight training based, but here I've been definitely my shot has gone up, my uh, speed has gone up. My overall athletic like capacity has just increased here, and Rich is a great coach here. Um, I definitely wouldn't be where I'm at without him. Well, and Andrea, I want to point out, so we're on the lacrosse side. These guys, that guy over there in the green shirt, he's been working out for like two hours, and uh, this young man too. So uh, nobody on a screen and nobody on a chair. They are working out, and they're going to become doctors. That's all I'm saying. Doctor. Um, uh, so coming up, we are going to take you to uh, another, believe it or not, shooting zone and, and, a, and a different sport. And then we're going to go shoot some hoops to wrap it up. Pretty cool stuff, right, Andrea? Yeah, and very impressive. The future Dr. Dan behind you. Thank you very much, John. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh.